Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. Um, we are very far behind where I would like to be by this point, so hopefully we're gonna make up some ground in this video. Um, this room is called the Cave of Horrors. Um, there are three prison cells, and in this one, we see Gobi the Camel, who has now grown a long white beard. Um, and on his way to his lava world, uh, he was captured and thrown in jail. So we have to free him. Well, we don't really have to free him. Um, but we're going to free him because he will be important later. Um, other than that, basically Kazooie is making fun of him. In order to get these uh, doors open, you have to shoot grenade eggs at him. And Gobi will leave. And the only thing he will leave behind is a signpost in his cell that I don't think is really important, doesn't really tell us anything, I probably don't already know. Um, in here we have a Styracosaurus who is going to tell us thanks for opening the cage, but she's not going anywhere until the train is in the station. So this is part of a future mission. Um, and that's actually one of the polar bear kids that we will deal with in just a second. But in here we have another black Jinjo. Um, this kid is Magi. And he's telling us that he is not going to go back to his mother and we can't do anything about it. We can't get him any food or anything. So if we just hit him, um, he will start like being upset and you know, throwing a tantrum and saying that he's going to go back to his mother and she is going to side with us so we have to get groggy back to actually get the jiggy but like i said we can't do that yet so in this part um we are hopefully going to get a few jiggies and um maybe uh, an extra cheeto page or a extra honeycomb or something but anyway, we are probably going to head back to Western World right now. Um, take that ride over the space zone so we can do one thing quick. And then we're probably going to go visit Humba Wumba. Uh, although I don't think we got any Globos yet. And I can't seem to remember where her Globo is. It might actually just be up behind her, uh, her wigwam. But we will find out. Uh, I know where Mumbo's is, but... We can't get to Mumbo right now, he's inside the Inferno, which is not open. So for now, we will just have to come to Western World. Um, and we are actually going to let that box into Witchy World from Glitter Gulch Mine. Uh, so we are going to take the cable car over. I know I said we wouldn't have to use the cable car again, but uh, I was stupid and kind of just skip this over the last time we were here if you well, the first time you come here you have to make it over to this cable and grip grab along it um right now there's no power so you don't have to worry about those holes in the cable when there's power to the space zone um electricity will shoot out of those holes that can knock you off um so you just have to avoid it over here we have a switch to reveal a shock jump pad down there so that um, we can get up here anytime we can get to that pipe. And over here, there's going to be a big red button that will open that door and allow the box to come in. And it'll actually take us back to the fuel depot to see it from behind. And this box contains the flying saucer of peril ride. Um, this is another mini game, and we're probably going to do it now because we have time. This mini game is actually fairly long. It takes you throughout the whole level, and we have to do it twice. Um, it's no different the second time, except we have to get less points for a um, uh, a Cheeto page. And um, we can't actually do the mini game right now. I completely forgot about this. We have to actually turn the power on, and we need Mumbo for that. So, we are going to warp back to Humble Wombas and transform into an interesting character to say the least. Um, although, it's definitely not the weirdest of Humble Wombas transformations in this game. 
And the Globo might actually be inside the Wigwam. Behind a chair, I think. Or over here. But now that we have the Globo, we can give it to her. And... Yeah, yes, we do want to give you the Globo. Humble one, but we need your help. And actually, there is something that I should do before we do this transformation. But it is all the way at the beginning level, so I'm going to cut here quickly. And I will see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we are back here at Humble Wombas, and we are going to transform now. In case you're wondering what I had to do, um, I actually went back, and the electric fence, the gate, I threw it off with a grenade egg, because there's something we can do in there with this van. Um, we can't break the doors, the van. So I just went back and opened it up. Um, there's actually quite a lot we can do with the van in, uh, in Witchy World. One of which we can't actually do yet, but we will do it later. Um, we need Mumbo to start the power to space world first. Um, these little, or the little doors that you saw me go through, those can only be opened by the van and can be opened by honking its horn. Um, but first, we are going to come over here and open up the inferno because as an armored van we have money in the back and anything that requires money to open um, the inferno being one and the dodging dome being the other um, we can open now the dodging dome is in the space area and we can actually get to the um, pay box to open it up until mumbo has restored power um, inside the inferno there are things to do as the van so we will be going in in just a second um, there are a few doors that I think get you a Cheeto page and possibly some musical notes um, but this is I guess a good introduction to the inferno area there are a couple things we can do in here there are split pads uh, Mumbo is in here and I believe there's either one or two jiggies I think it's only one but there's a Cheeto page in there, and I don't believe there are any more van doors, unless there's one over by Mumbo's, but I really doubt it. Um, there's also a warp pad in here, so I will get that quickly, and I got all the van doors. Um, the van can actually use the warp pad, you just have to be very careful of where you land. Um, we are going to go to Space Zone. Quickly, there is... 20 notes we can get there with the van currently. Um, you probably saw the door uh, over in the um, flying saucer area. In here, yes, there's a treble clef, and we can get the notes from that. Um, there's only a few more notes left in this level. Other than that, I believe there's only one thing that we can do with the van that we haven't done yet, and it is over in area 51 by the entrance. Um, which is where that gate is that I blew off. It is right here. Um, there is a van door right here that has a ginger behind it. And it is in fact a purple ginger. So that is the second of eight purple gingers that we need to get. And we now need to go get Mumbo so that he can restore power to Area 51, Space Zone, and possibly one other thing, but I don't think so. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the Star Spinner. He also needs to restore power to the Star Spinner, which is in Space Zone. Um, so, going back, um, other than the fact that we need to change back to Banjo to go meet with Mumbo, we, there's one more thing we can do with the van, um, but like I said, we need to have Mumbo open open up the door to it. Um, there's three Mumbo pads in this level, and two of them are in Space Zone. One of them is by the beginning in Area 51, and the Space Zone one um, will restore power to the saucer game and open the dodge dome and we need to go find the globo first the one for the star spinner will start the star spinner and the one um, 
in Area 51. I'm not quite sure what the one in Area 51 does. It does something, but I don't remember what. Um, I know it turns on the lights to the runway, but that's all I can remember that it does, and that doesn't really affect any of the gameplay. So after grabbing the globo from down at the end of the path, there's an empty honeycomb in here. A bad guy, interestingly enough, um, although the bad guys in Witchy World are technically the park staff. And up here, we will once again meet Mumbo, Mumbo who isn't sleeping, and he's going to ask us for a globo. And we are going to give it to him. And we will hopefully get all the mumbo pads taken care of before the end of this video. And then we will do the follow up to the mumbo pads in the next video. Uh, because these videos are going much faster than I would like. We haven't actually gotten that much progress done in Witchy World. Right now we are still kind of in the process of opening things up and accessing things and turning things on. But I digress. There is one Jiggy that we can get in the Inferno that we will probably get next time. Um, we're going to warp the Space Zone first because those are the two most important Mumbo Pads. Um, and the one over here will open up the Dodge Dome and allow the van inside where we have to pay to open up the Dodge mini games. And the Dodger minigames um, are much similar to the minigames we played in the Crazy Castles Stockade, kind of. Um, they are a series of three games similar to um, Maya Hem Kickball, except for the fact that they run on the color ratio of 1 point, 2 point, 3 point, And we have to collect Twinklies uh, while racing against other competitors. But that has restored power to the Dodger Dome. And if we go inside the Star Spinner building, we can go restore power to the Star Spinner. Um, and restoring power to the Star Spinner will get us a Jiggy, and that's about it. Because there's not much in here except for a Jiggy and a Minjo. Um, and of course, Minjo serve no real good purpose except for being your enemy. And, like I said, I'm not sure what breaking the panel on the side of this does. I don't know if you have to do it or not, but I've done it in every game. I've played a Banjo-Tooie, and so, out of habit, I did it again. Um, if anybody can actually explain what that does, I'm too lazy to look it up, so you can comment uh, on this video or, or something. But, opening this up, or turning this on, rather, will start that planet up there spinning, and these stars that you see lining all the way um, now have the ability to move up and down if we were to get on them as Banjo and uh, Kazooie. They'll move up to the next one and then we'll jump onto that one um, and so on until we get to the top for the Jiggy, but we will have to come back for that because we can't do it as Mumbo. I don't think there's actually any Jiggy in the game you can get as Mumbo. Like, I don't think there's any that are physically possible to get as Mumbo. Um, Although, I'm probably wrong about that. Not sure. It seems logical, but like I said, I am not sure. And if we warp back to the world entry and exit, we can go hit the last mumbo pad, um, probably right before the time limit, by the time that cutscene ends. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure what this one does, um, except for turning the lights on on the runway. Maybe it'll tell us. Oh. Okay, this evidently powers the saucer peril. Evidently the space zone power to the Dodge Dome doesn't um, power the the ride that is there, or rather the power to the ride comes from the end of the ride. This is where the ride ends. Um, but as soon as this cutscene is over, we are done for this video because we don't have enough time to do anything else. And when we return, I will be Banjo Kazooie back in the Inferno where we will get hopefully a numerous set of jiggies in the next video, cleaning up Mumbo's work and um, doing some other things. But other than that, that's it for this part. Thank you guys for watching.